Hi everybody, Linda Carroll here from my studio, Gather of Great Things, and I'm I sat down to work on a uh, a challenge today, and I thought I'd go ahead and and video it. Um, I was wondering why there were so many paper dolls um, and videos about paper dolls on YouTube. So I went on a little bit of a search. And I found out that there was a uh, a challenge by, um, I, and I think it started with Willa Wanders. Um, I'll put a link below uh, to her and how I found out about this. But I first saw it on um, Louise Heinzel's uh, site. And um, I really loved the the uh, paper doll that she did and the background that she put it on. So I decided to just take my um, my odd and odds and ends and bits of things that I have because the challenge is a fodder challenge, and Willa Wanders actually has a free. Um, I think it's still up a free workshop on fodder challenge and six different artists show you how to use up your odds and ends and bits and scraps which they call fodder to do um, journal pages to make collages and everything and i thought well i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna do this so yesterday i signed up for the willow wanders um workshop the fodder challenge workshop and i just i just enjoyed watching everybody's uh, contribution to that and i decided i was going to do a paper doll too so i went back to my weird and wonky journal um and i was looking through it this morning um at the the 12 days of christmas was in there and a lot of my other collages that were just a little bit, uh, just a little bit weird, I think. <laughs> um, but these are my favorite collages to do. And um, so I thought I'd work in this book. I only have a few pages left in this book and it will be finished up. So I want to work in this and see you know what I can come up with so I had this uh, this sheet printed out that I haven't worked with yet um, actually I printed it out to work on it um, at with our upcoming magical Monday work uh, get together but I think I'm gonna work on this today and make a uh, paper doll or collage doll that I can put on a page in my weird and wonky journal. And then I have my my box, well, two boxes actually, my box of leftovers from the last journal I did, from some collage sheets I did. Here's a piece of uh, tracing paper that I did. Um, some stamping and some paint and splatters on when I was doing something, I think, in my journal. And I have um, little creepy people that I I might use for my collages too. Not sure where they came from. Um, an old pattern piece. So magazines. This is one of my one of my favorite boxes to go through when I'm when I'm in a place where I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I want to do something. So, and also, um, this is my box, and I don't have any sheets ready, but this is my box that I have all the pieces for um, my collage dolls that we're, we'll be working on next Monday. And I still have leftover pieces from the Baba Yaga, uh, the brighter side or the lighter side of Baba Yaga. So that'll be next Monday. 
and this big mango got put in there for whatever reason. So anyway, I'm excited to I'm excited to work on this today. And the first thing I need is I need a body and I need a head. And I, I this woman is is just perfect. So what I'm gonna do is cut her out. Hope everybody had a good solstice. I think I'm still kind of uh, feeling the effects because I'm a little kind of jittery this morning for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, but whatever it is, I'm I'm sure sitting down and doing some collage work will calm me down and take care of that. I think I was actually dreaming about these uh, paper dolls last night and I woke up thinking about them and so it really had an impression on me and I'm not going to think a whole lot about what I'm doing with this um, this challenge it's going to be pretty intuitive I think and but I, re I really enjoyed um, I'd never seen Willow Wanders before and uh, I enjoyed the collaborative workshop that she had. She's a mixed media artist. Most of the artists uh, in the in the workshop were mixed media artists. Okay, here's my the body that I'm going to use. And then I've decided I'm going to make, uh, uh, I think they're called anthropo anthro anthroprom <laughs> anthro <laughs> they're part animal and part um, person. So that uh, it's kind of anthropomorphic or something like that and I really like this this deer head and although quite fussy to cut out I think it'll look pretty cool Okay, so if we replace this wonderful lady with this deer head, let's see what happens. As I was cutting out the deer head, I was remembering the first time I found um, antler, an antler, uh, and I'm going to save her, I'm not going to throw her away. Um, in the woods and actually my cat was with me and she had followed me on a path which she did often and um, 
and she went over to sniff something and I couldn't see exactly what it was. The grass was a bit high and um, so I went over to see what she was doing and there was a a deer antler and I just felt like I was given this wonderful gift and I was so excited <laughs> so um, anyway that's where my mind wandered to while I was cutting this out okay let's see here how much space I might have to get my bigger sketchbook out now I think I will because I need to put a skirt on her so let me get my bigger bigger uh, art journal out I'll be back in just a minute okay I have a couple art journals going on now this one um, we've been working on this was the Persephone uh, collage that we did and this was the other Persephone collage that we did. Kind of the dark side and the light side. So I think, oh yeah, she'll work in here great. Okay. So, what we need to do, see how jittery I am? I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I love that. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is make a, um, a skirt for her instead of an entire uh, dress. I think we just need a skirt and I have something that was sent to me this was actually a bag that, um, that ephemera was sent in So let's see how this looks. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. So Tear across here and kind of tear a kind of a skirt shape. Out of that. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, and let's see, I have a couple things out of the the new my collage dolls that I'll, I'll probably have up um, on my Etsy site this weekend. I see. I have, I have all kinds of feet and legs and shoes, boots. I have some animal feet in here too. So where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I have arm, 
arms and legs and all kinds of stuff. Okay, here's a little little set of animal legs. I have a bigger set. These I just printed out on uh, copy paper. So my test run for my colors and everything. So, okay. So I have these shoes. That could be sticking out from underneath the dress or the skirt. I like that. And I have these boots. <laughs> that would also work. And then I have these deer legs. That would also work. But they don't show up a lot. So I think it's going to be... I think I either like these shoes or these shoes. I think it's going to be these. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to glue these together. So, we're working with one piece. I have a lot of area to glue to. Let's see what happens. And then I'll put something else um, behind the, uh, the bottom of the deer head. Here is our base. Let's cut out the shoes. And you, you know, people are just using everything, every kind of scrap. Um, and I'm going to keep these together because I want to glue them together on the, uh, on the back of the skirt. The people are using, um, mixed media papers that they've made. They're using, uh, downloaded papers. They're using magazines, pieces from magazines. They're using material and lace and just about everything. And they're turning out so, so neat. I'll put some links below to um, some of the other videos I've watched because they're really cool.
and it introduced me to new people that I didn't even know were out there with new new and different ideas and styles and and uh, I, I always love that okay well she pretty much is gonna fill up this page so At least height wise, she is. So I'm gonna put these shoes up pretty high. <laughs> and we don't need these. We don't need these. Okay. And then but they just, you know, that we'll just start adding to um the pieces that you're using to make it more interesting. So I'm gonna cut tear this out. This was from uh The last journal kit I did. And I'm going to make this um, more uh, to look more like a skirt to me. So, kind of change the outline a little bit and change the direction of things. Change over to my glue stick. I'm going to go um, for some neutral, kind of a neutral palette because of the coloring of, um, of my lady and my deer head. And then add some color. Like, I, this is fine. I really like this security um, envelope pattern here. And I love this. I'm not sure. I think that came off of a napkin. It feels like it. Okay. I think we've got a good base down there now. I can see the shape of the skirt. And then we can start adding some other stuff. Not sure what. Let's see. I have here. This is from a card kit. Let's see what's in 
here what can I be use? I think I basically bought this because I like the colors. Let's see. We could give her or him a bit of a headdress there. You know, I mean, I'm so, um, I love how when I'm working and just picking up stuff that, <laughs> how colors come together and, now oh, that might be cute on the bottom. Still want a little bit of that rough paper showing. The um of the bag. Like that. I haven't been using my um my inks. I think I was just so excited about this, I forgot. I think I like this up here on the head. I just felt like I, I really wanted to play with this today. And see what happens. I know there's probably a constant hum in the background. The heat pump, air conditioner, whatever, has been running constantly because it is so hot and humid here at the beach. And it just my because we have the heat pumps, when it gets over a certain temperature and a certain um, the humidity is, is a certain percentage the heat pumps really do not work very well and I think that's kind of what we're experiencing right now because they run all the time This lovely, lovely and a little tag. I'll use that later. This tag looks like crows on it. Happiness.
really like this little tag thing here. Okay, I think we've used that. I do like this. Now, we have some lace up here at her throat. I have some of this green stuff from the last journal I made. And I really like this open weave stuff. Let's see. maybe do with this. That's kind of cute. I just saw this up here. These are little like brads. That could go there. Or this one. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Punch a little hole in there if I can get to it. Okay, that's cute. Now let's see what else we need to do here. I have this material. But here, it seems that the more you put on these, um, these dolls, the more fabulous they look. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna load it up. And see how it comes out. You know, it's only scraps, right? So you can do whatever you want. Maybe I should have wrapped that around. I think I should have. 
So you can see that kind of end there. Okay, I did really like this. I think we might need something under it.
Okay, I kind of went silent there. <laughs> I guess I got involved in, in what I was doing. And um, I really like the way she turned out. She's very crafty, you know, which is fun. I enjoy doing crafty things and, um, and you know, lots of fun. Uh, and would be great on a cover of a of a journal or in an art journal book, which is where she's going to live for me. Um, but anyway, um, I've gotten my little challenge done, and I'm going to post it on uh, on the Linda Carroll Art Creative Community and with hashtags to fodder challenge, and also in my um on my instagram with uh hashtag fodder challenge <laughs> and you know it was kind of fun to participate in something unusual for me and not not what i'm used to doing and um and i, I did i had a lot of fun with this particular piece and used up a lot of things that you know, I probably wouldn't have used um, otherwise, and they would have continued to, you know, be in my my box of goodies. So, I'm probably going to do a background for this, or I may just save it for, you know, something else. And um, I I'm, I think I'm probably going to do quite a few of these because they were so much fun. And it is a rainy afternoon now. It started to rain. While I was working on this deary, I think that's what she's going to be called, deary. And, um, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I hope you'll try it. It, it is a lot of fun. And uh, you just need, you know, um, part of a body or just a head, really. And you could do the whole dress instead of just a skirt. But, um, and just have a play this afternoon and enjoy yourself. So many blessings to you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for following me. Uh, thank you for your comments. It means a lot to me. And uh, if you're new, please do subscribe and ring that bell icon so that you'll be notified when my next video comes up and all the ones thereafter. So, I'm going to say I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.